Welcome to The Daily Devo. My name is Grant, and today we are talking about surrendering our strength. I was a wrestler in high school and for a short time in college, and in the process of this sport, every single day in practice, you do some sparring, which basically means you get to fight every day. And we would have a practice partner typically assigned to us who would be similar weight, similar age, and skill level. Well, in high school, my practice partner, who was of similar weight, similar age, and similar skill level, well, he ended up getting hurt. And when that happens, you end up getting a new practice partner. And this practice partner ended up being a freshman who was still growing into himself. You ever see that guy who kind of just got out of puberty, now when he runs, he runs like a giraffe? Well, this was that kid. And I was so excited to be his practice partner. You wonder why? Because I thought practice was going to be easy. I thought it was going to be so much fun. I just get to throw him around all day. And then coach pulled me aside after my first practice with that kid. He said, hey, you can choose to get nothing out of it or you can choose to toss him around. You have to choose to surrender your strength in order to not only benefit him, but to benefit yourself during practice. I want to read to you Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 8. It says this, You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. So why does the passage say this? Why would God's word go out of the way to communicate to us the difference and who Christ would have been in eternity versus how he had to humble himself here on earth. Well, all you have to do is look a little bit earlier in the text. If you start at chapter two, this is what it says. Is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Any comfort from his love? Any fellowship together in the spirit? Are your hearts tender and compassionate? Then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other. Love one another and working together with one mind and purpose. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others, but be humble, thinking of others as better than yourself. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take on the interests of others too. How do we do that well? How can we accomplish all of that and live the Christian life together in community? Well, we have to be willing to surrender our strength. In order to do that, we have to do what Christ modeled for us, which is surrendering his strength and his privilege. But at his expense, we would get the benefit of the work he did on the cross. For us to live well, we have to be willing to surrender. Be willing to surrender the right to be right. Surrender our desires, surrender our passions for the benefit of those around us. You see, you can choose to do what you think is fun or what you think is best for you, or you can choose to grow and become more like Christ. Well, the path to becoming more like Christ is a path of surrender. Thank you for watching The Daily Devo.